Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Zen. This is part uh, four of the Figma series. And here we're going to be looking at fonts, okay? Um, typefaces, uh, the good things and the bad things about it in Figma, and the sort of uh, workaround that I use. So, um, as usual, I'm just going to jump into my um, look around file, click into it, and you can see it's right at the top here, or right at the top here, we have the text icon, okay, and it works exactly as you expect it to. We can click and drag, and then we can type we can type into it. And on the right hand side we can see all of the text settings that we have, you know, left, centered, right, aligned, um what are these I think yeah within the text box itself, the line at top, middle or bottom of it, which is quite nice. Um, and a few other bits and pieces. So there's obviously the font size, uh, the type of font, so regular, bold, italic, bold, italics, etc. And then the important bit here, which is the font face. Now, what's great about Figma is just look at this. These are all of the fonts which you can use. There are literally hundreds okay there might even be more than that um you know, it could possibly be thousands just looking at there are just loads of them the trouble is there's no preview to it okay and this is a, a big downfall in figma although to be fair i do understand why okay because the trouble we've got is that this is still a web page okay this is still a web page and what that means is is that in order for us to see all those fonts, they have to be downloaded to our machine for us to be able to see them, even if it's just showing a couple of uh, letters or words in it, like you would do normally, like in a preview, such as in Word, these would actually be the font themselves that we'd be looking at, so you get a better idea of what it looks like. Um, but we don't have that here, and it makes it really hard, and if you don't know the name of the font that you want, you're going around doing it, you know, different font one by one and getting some really messed up, uh, you know, fonts. So what is the way around it? And well, one of the great things is, is that Figma uses uh, Google fonts as well as potentially our system fonts as well. Um, but since we know it uses Google fonts, we can go to the Google website. So we open ourselves a new tab and we go to fonts, get it around the right way fonts.google.com and here we are now I'm actually going to do a video on Google fonts on its own uh, but it's just going to help us very quickly on here so when we do see the type something it will actually replace the text we see here so if you actually got some of the text that you know you want to use okay um, you know so for example if you want to use it for your navigation bar you might actually want to put in the words like home about us contact shop register okay and we also know that our navigation bar the text is normally quite large but you can also change the font size here as well and I do strongly recommend you get it as close to what you think you want that font size to be in your actual website because Fonts can be very deceptive. They can look really good at one size and absolutely awful at another. Okay, um, so try and get it to the right font size that you want. Okay, whatever that might be. Um, also, you can use the categories to help you out a bit. So, serif means it has feet. Think things like Times New Roman. Sans serif means without feet. So, think something like uh, Comic Comic Sans. Um, something like that okay display well that kind of makes sense it's like you know sort of like a shop style look handwriting well, again that makes sense like someone's handwriting like we saw on the first one was it day of the dawning or something so I don't want that and then monospace is where essentially the width for each letter is the same whereas normally something like the W for example would be a very wide um, letter compared to E or the letter I which would be very short so I don't want that so I'm just going to look at displays and I can then look at these and go hmm you know what this one 
looks quite nice blue fanby 2 okay yeah it looks like that might be quite useful for the navigation bar in my site so i think about that i can now see if it's actually available in figma blue fanby 2 so i've got that text highlighted i can then go into here scroll all the way up top of that i think can i press b yep yeah. and then Baloo. I have Baloo Fanby, I don't have Baloo Fanby 2, but Baloo Fanby must be near enough. Mm. See what I mean? How it can be just slightly different. Okay, so Baloo Fanby 2 is definitely what I wanted, but we don't have Baloo Fanby. So, uh, let's try another one. I mean, does it have Baloo Town? See, these are all number 2s. That sounds a bit rude, but there we go. Um, okay, no idea how you can pronounce that. Oxandium. Let's have a look. So, screw it all the way down to O. See, it doesn't have Oxandium. So this is this is a perfect example. Why it won't always be perfect. Okay, so. See, and I just chose another one there at random, didn't work. So, Oxandium's no good. Let's have a look at Bellotta text. Back up to the top. No, you see, this is where it can be a bit frustrating. Okay, oh, where'd Blue Tama, wasn't it? No, well, number two, wasn't it? So, plus a text. Um, and this is essentially the way you have to do. What I would say is, if you find the one you really want, okay, make sure you make a note of that, because we can still use this in our actual website. Just because we may not be able to use it in Figma, we will be able to use it in our own website. So let's try Arima. So, learning my alphabet again. Arima, there we go. Okay, I think that was the right one, wasn't it? Numa Dali. Yeah. Okay. So, again, we've changed that. See, it looks slightly different, but when I start using the Go Home about us. So, this is why it's very important to try and actually put real text in. Other things that you'll probably already know is obviously being able to change the fill color, um, the transparency of the text. You know, you shouldn't really want to make your text transparent. Who knows what you're trying to do okay um but also you can change your colors and all the bits there again down with the stroke and a few other bits and pieces um but that's it i say i wanted this to be a fairly quick one it's under 10 minutes and maybe not quite as quick as i wanted to do um, partly because i couldn't find the right fonts but that is a, a true problem you know and i don't want to do want to edit that out because i want to make it as realistic for you as possible this is one of the problems you're going to have with Figma. They have loads of fonts, but because there is no um, preview on those fonts, it makes it really difficult to find the actual one you want. But using Google Fonts, find the one you really want, keep that name down. Hopefully you have it available in that website, um, in Figma, um, but you will be able to use it on your own site. So that's it for this video. Um, again, hopefully it's been useful. Please do all that unusual stuff, like, uh, subscribe, write a comment, tell me how wonderful I am, tell me you hate me, tell me what's good about this video, tell me what's bad about this video. Um, just just talk to me because I'm lonely. Um, and that's it. And I shall see you guys in the next video. This is Sen signing out. See you next time.